it's like um, how to say it or yeah this can be our our microphone we can go around people oh, yeah. can talk into that because right that's into that's the main reason we use a microphone right too is recording. yeah mm -hmm. yes yeah. Yeah. If you want to share just a bit about the angel bath? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were just in the chapel. And Jason and I had two exercises. The first one was to sing together, kind of like as in the end of the movie, As It Is In Heaven. Where everyone sings whatever comes through. And however it comes through. And then we had the angel bath. And it was an experience that was for the first time for many here. And we just felt it was so wonderful that we would love to have you have an opportunity of expressing how it felt to you. So we will send around this iPhone to share it with the whole world. <laughs> no pressure! <laughs> If it was a love, all of the love's got to be shared. <laughs> or they could speak. Oh, yeah. Oh, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One That's good. It might be good to pass the microphone around. I know, it's sacred. If it was a loving, it's already shared with the universe. Yeah. And we'll put this close to you, so with you, you can give translations in English, or people can speak in whatever language they want, and, and you can just translate right into here, and this will pick up everything. Yes. Eli pistetään mikrofoni kiertämään ja ö, sitten mä käännän kieleltä kuin kielet. Eli onko sitten englannista suomesta tai suomeksi englannista ihan miten vain. Ja nyt kaikki puhukaa mikrofoniin, niin silloin se menee. Ah. No niin, nyt tuleekin toinen mikrofoni. Eli mikrofoni kiertämään. <tos> <laughs> I've come 700 kilometers, I don't need to speak to the world tonight. <laughs> I want to do it because I am the world. Yes. Good luck. That sounds like a song. We are the world. <laughs> I want to tell about my experience in the angel bus. Ja puhuinkin Jannelle, kun kävettiin sieltä pois, että... I already told Janne when we were walking out of the chapel. Miten merkittäviä nämä tällaiset erilaiset äh, niin sanotut harjoitukset on. How meaningful all these so-called exercises are. Koska eko pistää kuitenkin rajoja, että sä voi mennä kuitenkaan koskettamaan ihan jokaista tai pusimaan tai halimaan täältä. Mm. <laughs> so, ego is giving you limits, so you're not allowed to really go just uh, touch or kiss just anybody so freely. Ja, siinä sulle anneta, siinä mulle annetaan lupa. And there you're given permission. Että mä saan rakastaa. I'm allowed to love. Että mä saan, saan rakastaa, mä saan todella antaa sen rakkauden musta itsestäni. Ja kerrankin luvalla silittää heliä. Mm. Yeah, so I'm uh, allowed to express this love and give this love, and once with the permission, just to uh, give, you know, just to touch and embrace another person. Mm. Ja kun ego miljoonilla eli tavoilla pystyy peittää sen. And ego has a million different ways to block this from happening. Niin, 
kyllä minun ekoni suli. So my ego melted. Mm. <laughs> Eli tunsin oikein sen, miten, miten sai alkaa rakastaa toista, miten sai, tai miten sai rakastaa silittämällä ja hellimällä, ja miten kykeni ottaa sitä vastaan. And I really felt how I was able to love by touching and just uh, doing all this and also allowing it to, to take in also. Mm. To, mm. Ja miten hyvä apuväline keho on siinä. And uh, how good tool the body is for this form of expression. Että mun mieleni laajeni rakkautta. So that my mind is expanding in love. Kiitos. Kiitos. Thank you. Yeah, it was just beautiful. Uh, I felt really relaxed. While walking down the aisle. Yeah. And uh, it felt like I don't want to move myself. Tuntui, että en halua liikkua mihinkään. Just, I don't want to stay up. <laughs> and just, uh, like, just grab, grab me and hold me. Ottakaa minusta kiinni ja pitäkää minua hyvänä. And it was just beautiful, just when someone was there and held me. Se oli aivan upeata, kun joku vaan tuli ja piti minusta kiinni. I felt truly love. Mm. todella rakastetuksi. Without to have a reaction. Ilman mitään reaktiota. Giving something back. Ilman että sinä just allowed to receive. Ilman, että tarvitsi antaa mitään, piti vain ottaa vastaan. Ilman ajatella tai mitään muuta ottaa vaan vastaan ja on. Hello universe. <laughs> And it was very. Mm, it felt wonderful. Se tuntui ihana. To be an angel. Olla enkeli. And um, then I was helped by angels. I was leaded by angels. Sitten minua autettiin ja enkelit johtivat minua. And it was like, wonderful to feel how much trust I had and I was 100% guided. Oli upea tunte, kuinka paljon luottamusta oli ja minua sataprosenttisesti hoitti. And um, somehow I think I have, I am both. I am an angel and I can take the help of angels. Entenkin tuntuu, että olen molempia. Olen enkeli ja voin ottaa sitä apua enkeleiltä vastaan. Minusta oli niin ihana huomata. It was wonderful to see. Kuinka kaikki heti lähtivät siihen luottamukseen mukaan. How everybody was instantly having this trust. Ja oli Ihan kun pystyy koskettaa ketä hyvänsä, miestä tai nainen ei ole mitään väliä. It was wonderful if you touch anybody, man or woman, it didn't matter. Jotenkin vain kaikki niin kuin virtasi eteenpäin. Everything was just a flowing and streaming forwards. Ja sitten kun itse kävin siinä kylvyssä. And when I was uh, taking this angel bath myself. Uh, niin on sellainen tunne, että minä niin kuin kohoasin koko ajan ylös. I felt I was rising up all the time. 
Ehkki mul seda oli mõne ma saan hea lämmi tee kokeossa, ei kui on pealegi. And when it was over, I had this really beautiful warm glow all over my body, and I'm still having it. And I'm really grateful that I was able to share this experience with all of you. Sõistin siina ja ihmised lähti kuulgemaan. When we were standing there and people started to move. Ma tunsin rakkaalt ihmisiä kohtaan. I felt love for those people. Ja kaikista. For every single one. Ma hämmästyin sitä, että ei ollut mitään väliä, kuka siinä oli. I was very surprised that it really didn't make any difference who was there. Musta oli ihana hymyillä kaikille. I thought it was wonderful to smile to everybody. Ja rakastaa. And just love. Ja itse asiassa se oli mulle voimakkaampi kokemus kuin se, että sä kävelit. That actually was more powerful for me than just expressing the love than the walking. Mutta sitten kun mä kävelin sitä, But when I was walking, um, I don't see. I felt like an angel. that I was talking to some of you earlier on. First I felt excited. Nervous. And nervous, nervous, sorry, nervous, nervous, just nervous. Ja sitten kun se lähti liikkeelle, niin When it started moving. Niin Sinne nousi vanhat kokemukset ehtoollisesta ja sinne menemisestä ja siinä, miten sinne siunattiin silloin. Ja Janne, kun toisti sitä. And the memories of going, all memories when going to have this supper in a in a church, so they can go in there and and all that that ritual came into my mind. Että olet, olet rakkaus, olet rakkaus, ja sillä tyylillä sanoi siinä. And when I was told that you are love, you are love with that style. Niin se kuulosti minulle, että Jeesuksen nimessä ja veressä kaikki synnit, anteeksi, Jeesuksen nimessä ja veressä kaikki synnit, anteeksi. It's sounded in my ears to this, like when the preacher is saying in the name of Jesus, so all you are sinners. Holy communion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sitten tuli ikku. And then I was crying. Ja sitten se oli ihan. And then after that it felt wonderful. Jotenkin semmoinen lempeä anteeksi anto tapahtui sitten. A very gentle forgiving lesson forgiveness feeling can happen at the moment. Leikin kautta. Through play. Kiitoksia. Thank you very much. Oli erikoinen, erikoinen ja mielenkiintoinen kokemus. It's a very special and interesting experience. Mä olin siinä viimeisten, viimeisten, viimeisten joukossa. I was among the last ones who went. Niin mulla oli aikaa seurata hiukan sitä ja niin kuin ottaa, ottaa sitä niin kuin vastaan sitä tilannetta, kun mulla oli aikaa siitä oppia. So I had a little bit of time to just to get the situation, some kind of feeling of the situation. Mm -hmm. Hämmästyttävää oli Stefani 
oli aivan hermona siinä pari minuuttia. Siis kaikella rakkaudella on sanonut tämä. Se on vähän se, se tapahtui, se enkelikin syntyi siinä vähän aikaisemmin, niin kuin se oli teidän rivissä. Se oli tosiaan, voiko tätä, miten tämä oli? Se on rakastettava, me olemme ihmiset tämmöisiä. Sitten mä olin siinä lähdössä, niin mulla, mulla nousi kyllä ihokarvat. Oh, mä en koe ihon. Helposti koe myöskin musiikin ihon kautta. And I easily feel the music through my skin. So. Sitten se hakeutui siihen uomaansa ja oli kyllä hyvin, hyvin ki, ki, olen kiitollinen, että sain kokea. Saman tyyppinen kuin Marjalla. I have a very similar experience than Maria had. Ja myöskin siihen ehkä se kohtu se pätkä kun on oltu vannesin, vannesin siinä hommassa osa. Oli myös saman tyyppistä. And there also memories of uh, oneness where they had some similar thing. Ehkä just hetkellisesti semmoinen, mm, voisi kuvata ehkä ärtymys. Irritation maybe? Momentary. Ja, ja sitten, sitten taas itku, niin kuin, joka... Siis, And tears and cry of souls. Mm. Joka vapautti siitä. Which was very liberating. Mm. Siinä kun itse oli menossa siinä When I was kujalla. Passing through there. Niin se oli, se oli kans erittäin jotenkin koskettava ja ja yllättävä. Very touching and very surprising feel. Se yllät, yllättävyys tuli siitä, että minä pystyin niin sanotusti ottaa vastaan. The surprise was there that I was able to receive mm-hmm. sitä rakkautta. The love. Ei se koskeminen olekaan kovin vaarallista. It's not so dangerous to touch on. Mä olin tosiaan vähän myöhässä. I came a bit late. Mä en tiedä, mitä tapahtuu. I had no idea what's going on. Mä puhuttiin, että menee sinne kappeliin. Mä olin syönyt iltapalan. I was told to go to the chapel. I just had something to eat. Ja ajattelin, että sieltä kuuluu musiikkia, että siellä varmaan istutaan ja lauletaan. And I heard some music and I thought that maybe people are just singing and so on. Sitten mä näin siellä kaikki toistensa jäsenissä kiinni. Ja sitten mä näin, että Suoraan kujalle seuraa seura tuota miestä. And straight to the alley and say, follow that man. 
Mä yritin avata silmiä välillä ja sanoin, että pistä silmät kiinni. Mutta sitten se oli niin ihanaa, että tämän takia kannatti matkustaa. It was felt so wonderful that I immediately thought that this was worth traveling. Mä oon siis käyn suruvaihetta läpi, mä oon, mulla on avioeroprosessi meneillään. I'm having a sorrow period, I'm in the middle of divorce. Mm. Ja syy oli juuri se, että en saanut hellyyttä eikä Because I was a little bit nervous about all this touching. But it was fun to touch others. I didn't feel the presence of angels. The experience was very good, and I want to have more of it. Anti. Yes. Okay. I will. I can tell in both languages, so it's okay. Yes. It felt wonderful. It was really amazing. Yeah. It's it's really about just letting go and trusting others, and also all these touches felt wonderful. Siis se, että ihan nyt päästään irti ja luottaa toisiin ja se kaikki kosketus tuntuu todella hyvältä. And you really feel loved in the moment. Tuntee olosu todella rakastetuksi. So, thank you very much. Kiitos. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, we're, we're just so grateful that you could have this experience. Yeah. Olemme kiitollisia, että voitte lukea tämän kokemuksen. I started traveling around uh, the United States and Canada and teaching A Course in Miracles in 1991. And in 1992, as I was traveling, I began doing these angel baths as I would go. And we noticed that nothing opened people's hearts up more than this exercise. Ja huomasimme, että mikään ei avaa ihmisten sydäntä niin hyvin kuin tämä harjoitus. Uh, here we have a Course in Miracles retreat. Ja tämä on tämmöinen ihmeiden oppikurssi retriitti. But my friend Don and Marie Carey and I would go into churches. Mutta ystäväni, uh, what was her name? Don and Marie Carey. Don and Marie Carey, mm -hmm. ja minä menimme kirkkoihin. And in these churches, uh, the people had known each other for many years. Seeing each other once or twice a week. But uh, I don't think ever having such a heart-opening experience ever in your life. And then after The experience, the mascara was running down everyone's the women's faces. They were looking at each other like, I've never seen you uh, before. Yeah. Even partners looking at each other like, wow, what was that? Because it gives you a glimpse of what the potential is for our life. Yeah, and Ira spoke so beautifully how the ego places so many limits and defenses. Yeah, 
And we have uh, even uh, filmed occasionally. We've filmed some of these angel baths. Ja olemme joskus kuvanneetkin näitä enkelikylpyjä. And people have said, I, I, it was hard for me to watch it on YouTube. Okay. Uh, because they said, I couldn't believe that it was on YouTube. Because it's, it's just out, out of the norm. And so we've come to call these exercises like experiential exercises. Because you have such a strong experience that will be so helpful in your entire lifetime now. Yeah, so I mean, why not just go and see it on Google Lop or on Yeah, and I know that it, these things come into a lot of therapies where they they will use experiences to have people open up. Yeah, neither can the therapies or the things that all time is all about more. Yeah, and I feel like that's what spirituality is. It's ninety nine percent. Of practice and only one percent principle. Niin, se on 99 prosenttisesti henkisyys on tätä käytäntöä laittamista ja yksi prosentti vaan niitä periaatteita. And then when you have the actual experience, your whole journey is changed forever. It will never be the same. Ja silloin kun saat tämän kokemuksen, niin koko tämä matka muuttuu, se ei koskaan ole sen sama. Because it really isn't about theology or religion. Koska kysehän ei ole mistään teologiasta tai uskonnosta. Everything is really aimed at experience. And we learn from the Course that that's how you undo false beliefs. You have to have new experiences that come in to, to show you there's something more. Yeah, so this is, it's definitely not an intellectual procedure. <laughs> Yeah, and what you shared, I've heard in so many different uh, cultures and languages, mm. when people say the experience was so strong. Mm. Jason, do you have? <laughs> <laughs> That was really a beautiful witness to me. Oh, to him, Upeta Torista. Yeah, the Course of Miracles says the voice place on your. Niin meidän opikossa on, että maailma pyhin paikka. So we're an ancient hatred. It's that more than ever. There's something. Comes the present love. Comes the present love. Present love. Two new pairs of cards. Yeah, and Helen and I just had a beautiful journey right before the session. Yeah, Helen and me know a little line there that we get to meet and talk to each other. I don't know if ancient hatred is the right word. You get us more than ever. We have a lot of that stuff. But just, I just saw something. Could have nine or ten. Really deep in my mind. Yes, I give you a little more. Where I thought I was, I'd been helpful. Yes, I could have told you all the truth. But to her, it wasn't. But to her, it was. And then just to to love through that. Yeah, God's love, Mister Rakkalilla. And then just kind of come out and have this beautiful angel bath. Yeah, just then. To live in there, so I'm going to go in angel bath. But you guys experienced it like I did for this when I had it the first time. Yes, so the goal is that you can go and see what you're going to see when you're going to see it. It's just a nice symbol for me that love is really so simple. Yeah, so I'm going to see what I'm going to see that the rock of the world is really beautiful. And there's no words of teaching. Hey, there are no more than some other type of books that you want to see. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. See you soon. Thank you.
Tonight we are going to watch a, a masterpiece of a movie. Sometimes I show movies that are so deep and metaphysical that they need lots of commentary to be meaningful. Sometimes we call them quantum movies that are, are so deep the people can't even understand the movie unless I, I tell them what the movie means. <laughs> it breaks all the rules. But this movie is not that. This movie we can play from beginning to end. And it will it will carry you into a very deep experience. Because really the only thing you need to know in your heart is full gratitude for absolutely everything. Without exception. For your heart just burst open in love. Like you experienced in uh, the angel bed. So it's like involuntary, you're taken in. And your mind goes, wow. And your heart goes, whoa. What have I been missing? <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> My love. <laughs> and, and this movie will carry you into that state. When I first saw this movie in the theater, I just wanted to sit in the theater. I didn't want to get up. He had tears of joy and gratitude. Uh, and the device of this movie will involve uh, with the main character and the father of the main character. They can time travel. In fact, all the men in their family can time travel. They can go back in time. So when they experience an awkward situation where they feel they've made a mistake, where they feel they've messed up. Like a lot of men feel. <laughs> and women. <laughs> uh, they can go into a closet or a dark place and go back to the same uh, experience where they felt they messed up. And be convinced this time I'm going to do it better. This time I'm going to be courageous. I'm going to say what's on my heart. I'm not going to hesitate and stumble. And so uh, that's the, the glory of this movie. Uh, they have the ability to travel through time come back and relive scenes. Almost like an actor who gets to redo the scene. Sometimes more than once. We keep redoing the scene. So you get that good feeling in your gut like, yeah. That's the way you wanted it to go. Maybe he's uh, chasing a girl, he's attracted to a girl. Well, he's nervous, he says the wrong thing. She turns him down, rejects him, says, I'm not interested. He says, hmm, that didn't work, I'd better try again with a different <laughs> <animal."> <laughs> This is 
very deep movie because it's talking about hypotheticals. The only problem with this world is that all of it is hypothetical. As if. Even to look around and see a group of bodies sitting in the same room. This is just a hypothetical situation. That in reality never happened. It's pure imagination. Just a fantasy. As if the separation from God occurred. And we can have private minds and private thoughts and private bodies. Mm -hmm. You forgot that for a while in the angel bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the hypotheticals were gone and the, the experience grabbed you. <laughs> and your mind went, wow. <laughs> and your heart went, whoa. Because <laughs> there was a remembrance, a recognition. Oh, this is heaven. This is where I came from. All this uncontainable love. So this movie explores hypotheticals. See, the only problem with the ego is you feel stuck in time. Like a fly stuck on flypaper. Feel like you can't move your legs. I'm stuck in relationships, stuck in job. Stuck in the daily grind of survival. Having to solve all these problems every day and then tomorrow you get another set of problems. That can get depressing. It's like some days you're in bed and you think, do I really want to get up today? And you see how different that experience is from that angel bed. And so you can begin to let your mind go and say, wow, what if that angel bed is like what reality is like? And I've just been stuck in time, forgetting. Yeah. So, in this movie, uh, uh, he, the main character gets to try to redo uh, his day, and redo the scenes that he wants to <coughs> see differently. And everyone has that same power. Because our mind is so powerful, it's making the scene. This is what the new physics, the new quantum physics is showing us. Our mind is making the whole thing up. Even scientists are telling us now that there's no external world. We're like swimming in a sea of consciousness. And projecting a world as if it's outside. Even when you go on social media like Facebook. And you look at your post. Oh, who liked it? <laughs> oh, I haven't heard from that person for a while. They liked my post. <laughs> oh, they love my post. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> and you, as if there's people out there that <laughs> that are doing liking and everything that are external to your own mind. We're always just watching our thoughts. And this helps us see what we believe. If we're upset at anyone, then we believe 
in the, that judgment. Jos olemme pihasia tai meillä matti menet mihin tahansa, niin silloin uskomme siihen tuomioon. That's why in the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus said, Judge not, lest you be judged. Love your neighbor as yourself. Because your neighbor is yourself. <laughs> it's very basic. We talked about oneness. It's oneness. So this movie is adorable. This movie is precious. It's very simple. It's darling. It doesn't need a lot of explanation. It takes you on a trip inside your own mind and heart. You can relate to the relationships. The father, the mother, the son, the daughter. The daughter that always wears purple. <laughs> and doesn't fit into the world at all. The son that's so sincere. You feel the sincerity in your own heart. The comical father. Who has to tell his son. Uh, we can time travel. <laughs> and the son that goes, right. Yeah, you didn't believe that then? <laughs> you, you really see this mechanism used in the most wonderful way. Because once you realize that you have the power to change, to make a difference, Kun havaitset, että sinulla on kyky muuttaa, tehdä, mu- tehdä, että sinulla on merkitys, sillä on merkitystä. And you practice this over and over in many settings, redoing many, many scenes. Ja kun harjoitteet tätä monessa, uudestaan ja uudestaan monissa kohtauksissa. At some point you get the lesson. Jossain kohtaa saat sen oppiläksyn. Like, oh, I don't really need to change the scene anymore. Että, ai, minun ei tarvitsekaan enää muuttaa tätä kohtausta mihinkään. To try to get a better outcome. Saadakseni paremman lopputuloksen. I would rather be happy. Olen ennemmin onnellinen. With everything that I, is coming at me. Kaikesta, mitä minulle tarjotaan. And let go of trying to change the day at all. Ja päästän irti siitä halusta muuttaa sitä päivää millään tavalla. That's what the angel bath is about. Siitä tässä enkelikylvyssä on. Self-love and acceptance. Ja itsensä rakastamisesta ja hyväksymisestä. That you're even more than enough. You're perfect just as you are right Olen now. enemmän kuin riittävästi. Olet täydellinen juuri sellaisena kuin olet. And always have been. Ja olet aina ollut. And always will be. Ja tulet aina sitä olemaan. And that's really what this movie is about. Ja se on pohjimmiltaan mistä tämä elokuva kertoo. The title is about time. <laughs> but really it's just about love. About seeing you don't have to change anybody or anything to experience the love. And I was amazed at this movie. I thought, what a movie to take you toward that state of mind. But no additional commentary. Just by being absorbed in, in the movie, the purpose of the movie. So I think we can now all sit back and enjoy this beautiful experience. Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>